may start with the go kart again. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about the Junior Max Day. What, what do you remember from that? Um, a lot of heartbreak and uh, close, being close a lot of times, not quite getting it. And then uh, finally on one of the weekends that you thought, you know, if anything was going to go wrong, it'd be that week. And we pulled through and was able to absolutely put it on them, uh, to be honest, and, you know, win it. You know, on the way to racetrack, motor home had, you know, two flat tires in the rear. And so we drove, dad had someone come pick us up or pick him up and went back and got the truck, came back and hooked up to the trailer and went to the racetrack. We didn't have our parking. And so we had to park all the way in the back away from the track you know it was we had speed in all the other classes but when the max daddy came around i think we started seventh or so and uh, we was able to just drive up through the field and i believe we were running second at the halfway mark and you know i went to a lead early on there because i knew i had a good piece and uh, just continue to stretch it out uh, lap after lap after lap in the carding what we know you've won five thousand dollars at the age of 11. We know you won $8,000. What's the most you've ever raced for in karting? What's the biggest purse, biggest winner's purse? Uh, biggest winner's purse was definitely, uh, I think it was SEMA uh, Raceway. I think that's the name of the racetrack in Missouri. It paid $21,000 to win for us. And, uh, you know, that was a super big race. And, you know, the year before it paid 20000 And I felt like I kind of got robbed on it through tech, but I ended, I ended up second. And uh, the next year we came back with hopes of winning it. And, uh, you know, we started up front. I was able to get the lead early on and got crashed around the flag, around the flagman stand. And, uh, um, you know, I guess flagman wasn't watching the race, so he didn't see it and there was no penalty and it destroyed our go-kart. But, you know, that happens, you know, that's a race that got away from us. You know, I felt like that, that would have been the highest pain. Um, I think it still is the highest pain the junior been in his, his history. And, you know, I felt like uh, that one could have been ours, but uh, just back to back years, bad luck. What about, um, tell us about the Burris National. Tell us about the cart, the weekend. Let's talk about that. Burris Nationals 2013, Dumple Valley, um, Tennessee. We had a 2010 eccentric and it had been sitting in dad's shop for I don't even know how many years, probably three years or so. And it just been sitting there, cobwebs on it and everything. And, you know, we saw we we're going to dump a valley race for Burst Nationals. And uh, so we need another cart besides the main one that we were running because I think we sold our backup. So we drug it out and we went to Dumpin Valley with hopes to win a Burst National. And, Junior one, we came close, and then we went out for junior three, and we we started pole, and you know I was super nervous. Was, I think this was my first ever junior three race, or at least big junior three race, and uh, you know I was able to just set sail and lead every single lap over a very very stout field, very memorable weekend, and then uh, the trophy was also amazing, and uh, you know it still sits in the back room, one of my favorites. So roughly. You've got how many wins in karting? Um, I think we're around 214, maybe a little bit more, but I'm not I'm not exactly sure on that. I know we're above 200. Uh, Cause we hit that mile milestone, I believe, in a, about mid 2017, maybe early 2017. You know, we continue to rack up win, uh, wins the rest of that year, and you know, even snagged a couple in 2018 and 2019. I, I believe I won a kart race even every year I've done it. So, you know, 19, 20, and even this year, 21. What's the furthest you've ever went to race go-karts? That I'm not too sure about, but I, if I'm correct, I believe it's new in Iowa. We drove the Springfield, Missouri race, and it was rained out, and they were like, we're just going to run up right up the road and, you know, run the race at, you know, new in Iowa. Uh, Newton Carding Club is the name of the facility and uh, we, you know, I think it was like another four hours and we got there and, 
you know, it was a really neat facility. Uh, you know, there's creeks running through the pits and you drove over bridges to get parking and stuff like that. And you had to go over a bridge to get on the racetrack. And uh, the racetrack was, it was different. I mean, backstretch, you went uphill. Going into three, you went downhill. I mean, it was it was quite the pretty cool racetrack. And uh, it wasn't our best weekend at all. I think we went through three bodies. You know, just kept torn them up because the racetrack had new dirt and it was super rough and we kept ripping them off left and right. But, uh, you know, I think that's the farthest we went. How about the time you went to Sunshine, Mom and Dad's anniversary? That was a good weekend. Um, I think that was my first ever time running blue plate flathead. We got there and, you know, everyone all all day told us, you know, you got to turn the wheel off four. You got to turn the wheel off four. And in the final round of practice, you know, coming off four, I, you know, I guess I got a little confident and ran off the racetrack and I caught the tires and, you know, flipped. And, you know, luckily it wasn't a bad flip. It just kind of went over once and landed on my head. And, you know, I I thought it was funny, to be honest. And you know, I got out of the cart laughing. And uh, we went back to the pits and checked toe and all that, and none of it was hurt. So uh, we, we went right back at it and was able to go three for three that day. That was a good one. <laughs> in the karting, you run a lot of different series. What would, what would, out of them series, what would be the most prestigious? Which ones would be the hardest to win? Not not win a championship, but much less just win races. Um, it definitely have to be the Tri State Series, um, which unfortunately is not around anymore. And I think it being not around has changed the way karting is uh, grew. And but uh, anyways, you know. Yeah, you know, that was definitely the biggest uh, series I find, and you know I was able to get my first big win in, in that series, and you know I think that really kicked off uh, the karting career. And uh, but I was able, I was lucky enough to get six championships, two in 2014, uh, I think two in 2016, and two in 2017, if I believe. Not 100 percent on that. I don't quite remember. I know definite two in 2014, but uh, those are. Those are really good years, and you know, each championship really came down to the last race. You had to be on the money. You had to outrun the other guy to be able to, you know, win the championship and you know get that prestige. And you know, we were able to pull it off at least six times. And I know we have more chances, but you can't always get them. You talked about the the Burris National. You talked about the Junior Max Daddy. That, you know, that little copper guy. You everybody wanted him. What about your Max National? How many of those do you have? How many of those did you come really close to? I got two Max's Nationals, and then I've come close more times than I'd like to say. Um, you know, just never could get one to fall my way uh, quite like I needed it to. But, you know, that first one in 2012 set pole and fell right back to second behind uh, Clay Shark Harris and was able to just ride there, right there on him, uh, waiting for a mistake. And, he never made it, but uh, a lap car got in the way, which at the time I didn't know it. Now it's Drew Wiltsey. Got to thank him for that first one. And I was able to slip by and, you know, hold off two to go. Uh, I was down in the infield in the, in the potato farm uh, blocking for the win, but I was able to get it. And then, uh, you know, the, the other one was 2015, and I believe I started eighth in that race and was able to drive up to second at the line, uh, just barely snagged second. The winner ended up getting found wrong on motor, so uh, you know I was able to get declared the winner.